After Edwin Link successfully showed that people could live and work under the sea for an extended period of time, uh, Cousteau came along with Cousteau's Con Shelf or Continental Shelf Station 1, 2, and 3, which concluded in 1964. We'll talk about more about that in a later lesson. Skip ahead to 1964 when Edwin Link continued his undersea exploration with a new type of habitat that he called a spid. Now remember, underwater habitats do not have to be complicated. The spid stands for Submerged Portable Inflatable Dwelling basically a big balloon. Uh, it was very, very small, only large enough for one person. As a safety precaution, they also lowered a submersible decompression chamber. So as one aquanaut hung out in the sphid, the other would be in the decompression chamber. This experiment lasted for 49 days. This was a giant step forward showing that people could live and work under the sea. Now remember an earlier presentation we talked about saturation diving and the need to decompress, that is not shake up the coke. You want the nitrogen to come out of your system very, very gradually. Well the two aquanauts that were aboard the Sphid at over 400 feet for 49 hours took over 92 hours to decompress. And that's a long time and that's one of the big barriers we have with working and living under the water today. 